Yeah. So sophisticated. No one's going to film. So are you recording? Yeah. So I can't bump this? Yeah, you can. I'll scoot away. <laughs> She got cooties today? No, she's no, got the camera. Uh -huh. no. I didn't want to bump it. And... You've also got... Uh, yeah, right. We're real here. Whatever happens, happens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's right. No editing. It's going to be right. No editing. It's going to be right three. Who was, uh, what team was the one smoking cigarettes in practice? Uh, Houston Gamblers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Did you see that? No. They're, so the, the <laughs> developmental spring pro league or whatever right, they, had a, they had a video of the houston gamblers practicing they practice at like sam houston state or something one of their dbs had a cigarette in his mouth on the field while he was doing drills. That's That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> they, they interviewed him they're like no they're like this is a prop cigarette he's like i don't smoke cigarettes he's like this is an attitude he's like i go to the locker rooms i put my cigarette in my mouth i come up there and i get to work I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like I kind of like it. <laughs> Reminds me of the longest yard. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We missed it. Anybody? Uh, Ryder's not coming. Ryder's not coming. Trevor, Atlanta. Trevor should be here. Trevor got ten seconds to be here. Are you part of what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, would you prefer 0. 0.5? Would you prefer I put on 7? Like, I took all the Tylenol, put on all the icy hot, and then I came in and did burpees. So I brought my. Not for nothing. If you don't have pen and paper, you're an asshole. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, like, I started buying these ones, and I found like the special edition. Yeah. Yeah. This is smooth. That's scary. Yeah, it is. It's already gone. Yeah. Okay, good. That's on there. So you got you don't have pen and paper here. Yes. Pretty much. Just in case my legs are back crazy, we are going to teach you I've upgraded from the G flight to the regular Sharpie SPL. I found a pack of these. Now, if I could just get these. I have some Adidas like that. Yeah, blue ink. That's what I need. Yeah, I love blue ink. So you can totally wear the top Yeah. Well, this is a favorite. Yeah, that's your favorite? This is Literally, these don't do anything. Yeah. It's just, it's here. Yeah, so I took the laces out to wash them. I was like, I don't even need my laces. I made a mistake of not having socks tall enough to get past that top. To cover that, and then you get a really bad leg rub. Yeah. Not good. What I must do. Mostly. It's a comfy chair. Uh, wow. Smart. Smart one. Thanks for the folks. Yeah. <laughs> so we're still on, right? Here you go, Mosley. Anybody see, see Trevor? Trevor. Oh. Uh, Steve. Right, Wadhead kid. Yeah, yeah, that's Trevor. Trevor Steve. Gotcha. Oh. All right, so I think it's a little awkward. I think it's a little goofy, but I think it's really true. If you watch Tony Robbins, um, his sessions. They'll talk about how motion creates emotion, right? And the beginning part of the year, we're doing this thing where you gotta be outside working out at least one hour a week. So it's January, it's zero degrees, so that I've got outside one hour a week. And I turn it into, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk or hike every day of the week in the winter. And most people are associated, oh man, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. early, I wanna do it. So now when I think of cold weather, I think of all the positive things I listen to, all the motivational things I listen to, and how I kept losing weight all winter long, right? So when I think of cold, I'm trained like Pavlov, mm -hmm. and I think good things happen, right? So emotion does create emotion. That's the good news. The bad news is that we're all gonna start off with 25 push-ups. And go. Uh -oh. Anywhere you want. I know, I was like, I'm the one thing you did. Jim. I'm not gonna do full push -ups. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> Come on, ladies. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> <That's> the sweet <laughs> from the hallway. Oh, it's like right where it starts to burn. Oh, I heard the oh. shoulders. <sighs> Alright, so let me add that to the total that already today. This is good. That was my shoulders. <laughs> Everyone came back when we went home? No, we had to keep it. All right. I don't know. Perfect. Is there a camera in the hallway? I don't know if you can hear that. No, I just died out there. Perfect. So, you guys think of push-ups? I don't. I'm not ready. Thank God I warmed up. Push-up crew, 
Which means we're getting better. How many guys think of push ups? You're going to think about getting better. All right. <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah. Any condition? <laughs> Anybody follow Tim Grover? Come on. Anybody else follow Tim bit. Grover? What? Look at this. He wrote the book Relentless, Winning. <laughs> He's Michael Jordan's trainer. Oh, okay. So if you watch The Last Dance, you know yep. <laughs> he's a trainer that's interviewed. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Should have done more of those sets of 25, so I'm not out of breath <laughs> when I'm talking. All right, Tim Grover. <clears throat> Two books, Winning and Relentless. I got one of them right here. Been through them both. They're great. I don't know that you learn a lot of things to do in those books, but you learn a lot of things that are just the way it is. Mm. Um, things about winning, it's lonely. You lose friends, you lose family members when you're climbing that ladder. Mm -hmm. So, what's great about life is that it gives you the test first and then the lesson. <laughs> Here's the test. All right, coolers, closers, and cleaners are in his books. Cooler is the guy that basically hits the minimums, <laughs> does the minimums, gets by. The closer is the guy you want to count on when it's kind of clutch time. If things are set up, Everything is written out. He can deliver if things are teed up. The cleaner delivers at all times. And when everything falls apart, he's the one that's always delivering. And when things are said and done and you guys have already won, he's already moving on. All right, that's how he separates those three books. Coolers, closers, and cleaners. People usually kind of like move between all three. Very few are cleaners all the time. Those folks, they build statues to them around the world. All right, so here's the test. Like last week, we asked you, what was your why? And then this week, your mantra, what projects are you working on? What obstacles do you have? What skill sets are needed? The cooler went through and answered all the questions. Hit the minimum. All right. The closer went through Danny or Megan or Jordan contacted the other people in this room. Hey, can you get this done? Are you good to go? Are you prepared? Are you reading your pen and your paper? Right. You're worried about the team around you. The cleaner looks at this and says, these are people around me. Say, BJ's uh, standpoint, he plays for Anvil. And you play a defensive back and receiver. Is your quarterback here? So you take it upon you, I'm catching balls from the, from the quarterback, he needs to learn this like I do, I go out of my way, this needs to happen, I wasn't told to make this happen, I gotta create this from nothing, I should bring him along so he and I are on the same page, I can get him to do this also. This guy is focused on yourself, gets the minimum, this guy focuses on people around you, this guy goes above and beyond, creates things from nothing. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. you see the difference in mindsets? Where do I need to be? What do I need to do? What's the minimums? I can't pass the test unless I get the study sheet the night before. Right? I get my teammates to pass the test. I get everybody else. Right? That's the difference. All right. So, we're going to have to go quickly. You guys, you guys remember your wires? I wrote them down in case you didn't. Mm -hmm. Because I tried to be around here. Right? Jen, your main why? Much is left to do. Mm -hmm. Much. Jordan. Stronger for my kids. Kids. Megan. Relationships. Yep. Sam, you weren't here if I gave you all the information. Uh, uh, to reach my goals. Which were? I guess college. Play soccer. DJ, main thing was? Service. Yep. DJ? Stronger and faster. That was at the top. It was at the bottom, the main one. Money. You want to play on Sunday? Money. You want to know that you made it? Mm -hmm. right. Money. Danny? Uh, be prepared. Yep. For your teammates, you said? Yeah. Landon? Okay. Yeah. Trevor? No. Nope. Uh, no, Trevor. Yeah. Football. Uh, football. I forgot. You look here, Landon? Yeah. Football and college, right? Yeah. Saturday. <clears throat> and then Mosley, right? Yeah, Why? Uh, Taylor. Fair enough. 
Well, he got he got to the seven miles. Yeah, he jumped seven okay. miles, right? He shuffled through that. He's advanced. He must watch the video. I think I, I think I gave them like the synopsis last week. Great. <laughs> See, not a cooler closer that is, right? That's yeah, good. between the two, right? Mm -hmm. Mantras. Mm -hmm. One, two, three word mantra. Anybody? Ben? Yeah. Intentional, resilient, joyful, live in the present. Okay. I'm gonna write down just keep that on his paper. Hmm? Jordan. <laughs> no pain. No pain. Rocky Four. <laughs> <laughs> Representing today, really. <laughs> He's good. Megan. He's good. I don't stop. So let me drop though, but help me through some difficult things. Right. Just say good. <laughs> yeah. I don't stop. So we'll write down the C C S and when we later, right? Sam. I said uh, successful, strong, and uh happy. everything right yep that's one of Grover's books Relentless. uh Landon work hard I like hard work pays off <laughs> mostly work pays off yep I forgot one there's a theme we speak we speak why are you here it is what it is <laughs> bigger mantra oh why why yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, not God. why are you here right now. Why do you come in at four every morning? Yeah. Because nobody else does. It's for your sanity. Mm -hmm. It's my, it's, yep. It's because I can, Jim. Right. <laughs> Major projects you're working on. Yes. RPM chunky. Jordan. Uh, I just have my strength yeah. in my mind, so. Something more concrete, tangible. Um, so the strength would be something like Murph. Yeah, definitely, I'm working on Murph. <laughs> right. This is my Murph book. <laughs> Megan. Um, physically, weight. What weight? Like losing weight. How, how much weight? I'd like to lose 10 pounds. Like you will ASAP. lose 10 pounds, you'd like to. I'm going to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> ASAP. Bad girl. Okay. Sam. I said uh, working with Tommy and Summer Soccer. So Tommy, is, he plays uh, soccer at IUPUI. He's working with Sam on drills and positioning so how he can improve and play at that level. For those that don't, don't know, T, TJ. Uh, I said I'd like to take all this uh, presentation material and make it a book. Uh, a book. I want to grow the training group to 20. Uh, I want to start doing once or twice weekly AMAs. Um, I play Xbox and a lot of my athletes do too. Hey. So sending out Google surveys Feeling questions and then once or twice a week answering. I got over two. So you, <laughs> you asked me. You asked like me to write it. down projects. You did. I spent a damn week doing it. <laughs> I like that. So there's your top two. That's yeah. awesome. DJ, <laughs> how much weight? Uh, two hundred pounds. You want to gain two hundred pounds? Oh, okay. That's two hundred. How much you weigh? Uh, one hundred eighty. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you less than one eighty? Uh, like <laughs> Let's figure it out right now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew he was doing that. BJ, yeah, you those pockets hey, this, too. you're going to record your weight now this morning. I didn't need to do that. Great. Have you been? You've been doing that, yes? Yeah. Yes. So we we bought him a scale yeah, for his bathroom. Time, I, I think I think like three, three people, people missed two days in a row last so. week, and I just sent a group text that said unacceptable, and I don't think we've had any problems since then. Yeah. Good. Twenty one point eight. In project. Uh, one hundred percent. Come back from an injury. Three hundred. Right, me. Okay. Landon, gain weight, gain two pounds. Just ten. Yeah. How'd you call that number? Uh, I want to be faster too. I don't want to gain too much weight. How much you weigh? Uh, about one eighty, one eighty-five. Okay. What was the last weight you put in your weight document? One eighty-two or one eighty-three. Mostly. Uh, gain weight, be faster, more explosive. How much weight? Uh, 10 pounds. How much you weigh? 136 pounds. You want to be 170. 170 is ideal for your for your position. Uh, yeah. What position do you play? Wide receiver, strict safety. So 10 pounds. And what else? Uh, be more faster. Than you said? Yeah. How would you quantify that? Do we, do we have any number on him at all? Uh, no. 
not yet, but uh, so maybe a twenty percent increase. I, I I think ten pounds uh, in the time frame that we have is yeah. great, and I think everybody's got the right idea. We want to gain weight, but we don't lose any speed. For sure. So ten pounds is great. We projects. Is uh, that what you're asking? Any projects you're working on? Just my overall well-being, sanity, uh -huh. maintain <laughs> health, maintain health. Still dropping weight. Down thirteen, by the way. Yeah. Good job. There you go. So been tough. There go you know. Jim yeah. wants his book written. Book <clears throat> written and done by November one. Okay. So what'd you say? Book written. Um spent about fifteen hundred dollars this week on materials and coaching and resources. And we'll be booking the cabin this week on where I'll be having the book launch so that I can invite lots of folks. So it's very costly. Mm -hmm. So I'm all out there, yeah. right? Drain my bank account down so that <laughs> there is so that there's pressure. Uh -huh. When you add good pressure, yep. performance improves, right? Mm -hmm. Obstacles that are in the way. Jen. Family work demands of others. Okay. Family work, right? Jordan. I put work. Okay. Songbird. Myself. Okay. <laughs> Sam. Uh, my bad. I put productivity. PJ. Money times stress. <laughs> Running <laughs> gets in the way of losing weight. Gaining weight, yeah, it yeah, yeah, sure, sure does. Yeah, Danny. Uh, time frame. Uh -huh. You get it all done at a certain time. Yeah, by the time I get there, I want to be good to go. Yeah. Landon, uh, what holds you back? What slows you down? I guess time too. <clears throat> <laughs> Obviously, time. Time in the truck, right? That's right. Time in the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody not have time as a constraint? <laughs> Might just lose time. Right. How about yourself? I think I think my self isn't really a restraint. I do pretty good on that. It's it's literally time. Right. I am handcuffed. <laughs> right. So then there has to be a process and a skill on how are you managing your time, how are you time chunking it. Sleep faster. Right. Sleep faster. <laughs> and then things that people get in the way, the things that suck out the time, mm -hmm. right? Time on your phone. Mm -hmm. Time on your phone. Mm -hmm. Time on your phone. <laughs> right. Skill sets needed. Yeah, yeah. I did not complete that part. Jordan. Um, just, I guess, knowledge and training. Accountability. Okay. Right. That's a good. So yeah. So I need to be more productive. Productivity. Yeah. I'll call you every time I'm at home. I appreciate it. I wrote time blocking, uh, how to win friends, influence people. That's a good book. Uh, gratitude. Three. Uh, DJ, what gets in your way? Oh, I'm sorry. What skill sets do you need? Uh, if, you, if you don't know, it's okay. Metabolism? I don't know if that's a skill set. Uh, how about, how about, how about discipline? Mass, yeah, there you go. Okay. These things build on each other. Right, yes. they do. Uh, Danny. I was going to say discipline too. It's a huge one. Core value. Hard one. Yeah. Land. Yeah, so yeah. 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 Productivity and discipline go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah. 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 Mosley? Uh, consistency. All right. Again, discipline. Core value, Dedication. Okay. Oh. Coming up with a lot of <laughs> Dedication is easy. It comes always back to why. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Discipline and consistency comes with structured process. Mm -hmm. What is the process? Process. Process. Okay. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as you stick with it. What do I use? I'm a total dork. I have two different planners, and I use my phone. Mm -hmm. One's good at one plan is really good at looking at things broadly. The other one's good at looking at things every day. And they ask me the questions, what do I need to do to be more productive that day? Um, how can I be grateful that day? So one planner is set up, so I'm always asking myself these questions. Another one is set up, so I'm always working on my productivity. You can 
create one yourself. You can create your own plan or your own little notebook and go down go that route. The good news, if you can wait till November, out with the book comes the plan. Yeah. Or, I like right? that. How come I didn't know about I'm this? I'm jazzed about that. And announcement. I just found out about it last week. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're first we found out about it Wednesday. Uh, yeah. I'm impressed. Well, my brother was here. I'm impressed. Like he's laid out a whole I love it. I'm <laughs> he thoroughly his, impressed. He his six months. Six months. Well, great. It's nice that people like the idea, but the idea is absolutely useless unless I execute, right? right. So, yeah. I, so that is the plan, right? I don't doubt you. That's right. great. Now, other thing for today. One, if you don't get your homework done, you really don't need to be here. Mm. If you're not sure about your homework, collaborate with your teammate. If you're still not sure, send me a message. Send, send me a message. message. Send, send a DJ message, right? Send if, someone a message. If I'm not on top of this right. for you guys, then we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Just think about the skill set. If you play defensive back, who's a defensive back that plays in college? Or who are the defensive backs in college? What are their skill sets? On average, they have this weight. On average, they're this height range. On the average, or at the speed, on average, they had, they had this many routes in the route tree of the wide receiver, etc. Find those folks, copy them. Better find one you can talk to, and find one out. It's already out there. All the blueprints for success are out there. Go copy it. Okay. Go improve it. Now, here's an example of things that we're working towards. Right. So you take your why, and that goes on the top table top. This example is very obvious. I could, I could say I want to lose 30 pounds. The legs to give support are the things that I'm doing. The skill sets that's needed so I can hit my why. So if I want to lose 30 pounds, i got to write down tangents. I want to track my food daily, right? Do I need, I need an X number of grams of protein per day? Am I doing that per day? Now I have data. Now I can adjust. Okay. I need 100 ounces of water. I want to train five times a week. So your homework this week for your skill sets, come up with the legs of your table. Okay. Come up with the legs for your table. What models, what components? The more specific the skill set, the more specific the lay of the table, then you put it in your planner, you quantify it, and you execute. I hit it 10 days in a row. I hit it 15 days in a row. Okay? Then comes the carrot and the stick. Mm -hmm. You know why it's called a carrot and a stick? Everybody understand why the analogy is the thing? No. No? Yep. So if you want to lead your horse or your donkey that you're riding on, you can either use the stick and beat its ass to get it go, get it go forward. It can cause pain. Or you can put a carrot on the end of a string and hang it in front of the donkey or the horse's face to get the donkey to move forward. All right, so either way, you're getting them to move forward. One's pleasure, one's pain. Most people will go with, I'm trying to avoid pain more than they try to seek pleasure, even though logically this sounds better. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it because it's more fun. Right? Well, most people will avoid pain more than seek pleasure. What do I do? We do both. Mm -hmm. Right? So from October to <clears throat> March. I went from 319 to 271 low, 27, yeah, 271 was my low, so I'm right around 274, 275. To do that, I set up legs for me, right? Carrots and sticks. Once I got below 275, I bought a new watch. It was a G-Shock watch, it's awesome. It has different, it tells me the different um, time, different time zones. Uh, I'm gonna go to Hawaii next week. You can tell me when the tides are coming in, so I want it for that. It's good for 600 feet below water, it's 800 bucks. I would totally not spend much, that much money on a watch, but I really wanted it. I had to lose 45 pounds to get there. Not until then. And any day that I'm over 275, I can't wear it. So mm. if I'm below 275, I can wear it forever, Ooh, right? That's always been the deal. So that's that was the main carrot. A couple of main sticks, accountability partner. So if you find someone with an accountability partner, Again, this is not your friend. This is your ally. I got plenty of friends. The problem with friends, I'm gonna be like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna lose any weight this week. And my friends are gonna be like, it's okay, Jen. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Monday. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's not. It's not fucking okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. okay. Because then this goes away, mm -hmm. right? Because you're not hitting it. Mm -hmm. The accountability partner has to say it's not okay. So what do I have to do? I had five accountability partners. 
not just one, and some of them were World War family members that agreed to be allies and not friends. So every Friday, if I did not lose at least a tenth of a pound, if I, had to, if I was at least moving in the right direction every Friday, it was 100 push-ups and 100 ring rows to start off my workout for Friday. That didn't count as my workout. I still had to do my Friday workout. Mm. That was the warm-up, 200 reps. Pain, right? There has to be some accountability. Carrot and stick. So if you can quantify and write this out, and you find someone who's going to hold you accountable, hey, did you hit this this week? Did you this week? Other accountability partners, everyone, all your boys are going out Friday night getting loaded. That's fine. I'm trying to be the cleaner. I'm not going, one, I'm not going out. Two, I'm not letting my teammates go out. You know, I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping those guys together. Right? Accountability partner. Got it? Mm -hmm. Think about being the cleaner in these things. Think more broadly than what I just taught you. Okay? <clears throat> Come up with your tabletop. Come up with the legs. Get, get your carrot, get your stick. This is going to be the test next week. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with push ups. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, not next week. Our next meeting. We're, we're doing this yeah. every two weeks, but uh, I'm gone next week, so I think the next. I'm gone the following Saturday, too. 20, 21, right? Yes. 21, 21st. 21st of May. 21st of May. Feel free to progress more than I've told you between now and then. Why don't? Here is a good book. Here is a great book. Teamwork, culture, phenomenal book. I've already listened to it. Daily habits, breathing, calming yourself down, meditation, hold yourself accountable. Great book. Living with the soap. No, not living with the soap. That was good too. That was good too. That was good. You can't be great unless you read. So the next one, 514? 21. 21. 521. 521. Dismissed. Get a book and read it. Okay, I know you're training, you're training. I told you I don't want you to train. 